In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to assemble the zombie shield in the third zombie map for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. You want to head from the spawn into this door for 750, up the stairs and to your right. And once you open this $1,000 door, you're ready to find the first part of the zombie shield. There are three separate parts of the zombie shield, each in three possible locations. The first is right here on the right of Juggernaut in this chair. The second possible location for the first part of the shield, you can find down these stairs and immediately to your right on the driver's side door of this vehicle. And finally, the third possible location for this part is down in this basement immediately to your left in the middle shelf right here. Now the other two zombie shield parts can be found very easily from either opening the door on the right for 1250 points or the door on the left for 1250 points. If we head up the stairways on the left, the first possible location for the second part of the shield can be found right here on the right. However, be advised, sometimes it doesn't appear when you first come up here until you come all the way back downstairs and then you can see it. The second possible location is immediately up the stairs on the bottom bunk of this bunk bed right here. And finally, the third possible location for the second part of the shield can be found on the third floor right behind this curtain near the stamina machine. Now for the third and final part of the zombie shield, you could go back down to the bottom and open the door on the opposite side, but you can actually save money since you're going to open the power anyway and head across the courtyard here. When you open one door to the power, the other one automatically opens and you can get right to it without even having to open this door until you have more money later. But if you're wondering how to get to this location from downstairs, here's the stairway. It's just right here. And obviously this is the first possible location you could find that last part of the zombie shield right next to the Wonder Fizz machine. The second possible location you could find this zombie shield part is up two levels and immediately on your right when you go through this doorway. Then the third and final possible location you could find it is up one more level to the far wall on the right, this box that's tilted back against the wall. Now you can go down to the workbench in the basement and construct the zombie shield, which is called the dragon shield in this map. Not only because it plays a significant role in protecting you from the many flying dragons around the map, but my favorite part about the shield is when you pull it forward and you hold the right trigger, it fires a massive burst that will one hit kill anything when you fire it. It's a fun shield to use. If you appreciate this content and found it helpful, I hope you leave me a like or let me know what you think in the comments below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love for you to subscribe. Whether you want to dominate your friends on the zombie leaderboards or just have the bragging rights. I started this YouTube channel two and a half years ago with a mission to connect with fellow zombie gamers to help them master their favorite zombie maps. So subscribe. It's free, only takes a second, and I'd really appreciate your support. Until next time, I'm Crash Power, and thank you for watching.